Hello, thank you so much for joining me today. So today I have with me my Muse Beauty Pro order. So I actually placed the order uh, before they came out with the new Paris Edit palette. And when I first saw those pictures of that, I was really, really eager to get it. I thought it looked absolutely gorgeous and I still think the palette looks gorgeous. However, now that I've seen swatches of it, I feel like it is, um, you know, along the, the same lines as a lot of the other palettes I have and they seem to be more warmer toned pinks than what I had originally thought. So I've decided to hold off on that palette. However, I did purchase the lip glosses and at the time that I ordered these, I did not realize that these were intended to be part of a Valentine's Day collection. I just knew that Busy Art had released lip glosses and they looked really, really pretty and I was interested in them. So uh, I purchased these and then the other thing I purchased are some eye brushes. So I have been looking to try sable hair brushes for quite a while. Sable hair brushes are really hard to find. And when I actually tried to place an order back in the fall, um, you know, they didn't have all of the ones I wanted to order in stock. And I kind of didn't want to place an order just for one or two uh, items because, you know, I, I like to get to like the minimum shipping requirements <laughs> to get free shipping if possible. So anyway, I decided to hold off. And then around Black Friday, um, Michelle Wong, who is a YouTuber, which I'm sure most of you guys are at least familiar with her channel. So if you aren't, check her out. She has a, a great channel. I do not know her. She has no clue who I am. You know, this is not, yeah, not a situation where I have ever spoken with her or anything, but I do watch her channel and I think she is great. Anyway, she made a brush collection with the Isom brushes. And what I mean by that is Isom already had all of these brushes out. They are not new brushes, but they contacted her or maybe Muse Beauty Pro. I'm not sure exactly what the situation was, but she had the chance to pick her favorite Isom brushes and create a set from there. And then they offered them at a discounted price. So the set apparently sold right away and then they decided to restock them and they just recently came back into stock and I think they're only there until Valentine's Day, so Friday. But um, anyway, they, they have six brushes in the set and this is what I purchased. And they, you know, it, it's a great deal to buy it as a set because you get a discounted price for the brushes. And it had three sable hair brushes in the set which, you know, were ones that I was really looking forward to trying. So for me, this set made a, a good deal. So I have these that I'd like to go through with you guys. And real quick right here, I did take a quick little video when I actually unboxed these so you guys could see what the packaging and so forth was like. So let me play that here and then I'll be right back. Thanks. Hi, thanks for joining me. So I actually just got in, um, I ordered these Isom brushes. This is the Michelle Wong collaboration. And actually, I, I do watch Michelle Wong and I, I like her, but the main reason I purchased these is actually because I've been really wanting to try the Isom brushes. So there are like some sable hair brushes. I don't have any like that. And I've just been really curious. And this set ha is a really good price. So I wanted to show you guys what is included before I wash everything. So it comes in and it's got this little tag with Michelle Wong's pictures and a little note from her about, um, you know, why she picked these brushes. So part of it here, I'll just read a little bit. It says, sable hair is my favorite natural hair for brushes. Its versatility is unmatched and is incredibly durable. Brushes W21, W23, and W36 utilize sable hair and you'll experience most even and smooth lay down of eyeshadows both powder and cream with these brushes and then there's a g34 and s33 um which apparently are both goat hair and then there's the t05 which is a liner and i'm not sure it doesn't say on here but i thought that was a synthetic brush anyway um her collaboration i guess it was um she got to pick her favorite uh, brushes from Isom, and she, you know, basically she designed the set. 
Um, so Shane designed the brushes. She, she picked which ones she liked the most. And these are ones that she uses a lot. So I was very interested. So everything's wrapped in this black tissue paper. And then it comes in these cases. So let's just open one of these. Let's see here. It's like that really heavy duty, you know, plastic, like you would have on a plastic, like makeup bag or something. So it's kind of hard to open here. There we go. All right, so here's one of the brushes. So it has a silver handle and a silver ferrule, and it comes with this little guard. And this is the, which one is this? The S33. Okay, so I guess this one is a goat hair brush. And let me just open one of the sable hair brushes here. All right. So here is a sable hair. Feels very soft. So I'm gonna be opening these and washing them and I will use these and show them to you guys in um, the rest of the video. I just wanted to make sure you got a chance to see what they look like uh, in the packaging and everything as they come. So they all have these little guards and so forth. And okay, so let me start by going over the brushes that I have in this set. So there are two goat hair brushes. There is the S33 and the G34. And let me just show you, I did have one issue here with my G34 brush. I'm not sure if you can see there's like a lone hair standing up. And to my knowledge, when you're working with natural hair bristles, these things are not like put in the ferrule and then trimmed. Um, what I thought, and I, I could be wrong, but I thought that they were placed in the ferrule and then you know the, the hairs weren't actually trimmed because that natural taper to the end is one of the factors in the the application the smoothness of it and so forth so i'm not really sure what happened but this is not a loose hair it doesn't pull out i'm gonna have to like trim it or something so um just a note that i did have one little issue with this brush overall all six brushes um they are larger than I expected. So let me just show you something for comparison. So when I had seen this brush, I really wanted this. This was the W36. And I just kind of thought it would be similar in size to the Sonia G Mini Booster. And you can see that the bristles are longer in the W36 and the handle of these brushes. Are, are longer. So just overall in general, these are larger brushes than what I anticipated. So these two goat hair, um, this one G34 is pretty, pretty big. So I have had these for, I don't know, it's probably been a, a week and a half or so now. Anyway, this one I use pretty much um, without any shadow and I use it to clean up the crease area at the end. And that's what I have been using the G34 for. This S33 I use as a typical crease brush and it's tapered enough that you can actually use this as a multi-use brush and apply shadow in like small areas and so forth. So this is a really handy brush. I like this one a lot. And let me move on the T05. This is a synthetic brush and you know, it's like a, a typical eyeliner brush. I use this to stamp my eyeliner. And honestly, since I started wearing makeup as a teenager, I've always had one of these types of brushes. And um, yeah, it's a frequent use type of brush for me. Now, the three that I was the most interested in are these three. These are the sable hair. So we have the W23, which you can see has the flat shader style head. And again, it, it is pretty large. So if you compare it here to my eye, um, this is gonna be something that I would use when I'm laying down like a solid base of color. So it's a nice brush, but it is a little large for me to use on a daily basis just because it's, it's, I gravitate more towards the smaller brushes when possible. However, this W21 is one that I really like a lot. It is smaller, so you can see you know, with my eye, 
This is great for laying down color, small areas or large areas. It fits very nicely into the, the crease area here as well. It's a great multi-use brush. And then the W36. So I really like this one. So when I saw it in person and I realized how big it was, I was a little wary. It's like, oh, this might not work <laughs> as well as I, I anticipate it. But it really does lay down color well in the outer corner. And the angle is nice because you can kind of just like make this V shape if you want, or you can lay it like this. And then I like to take the residue and wipe it in the crease. And again, the angle on this brush really, you know, suits itself well to that. So I think this is a great brush. I really, really like it. Now the sable hair in general, um, it just, the way that it smooths and lays down the product smoothly is very nice. So I, I really like the sable hair. I have to play more with these, you know, to compare, pair, compare them a little bit more to other brushes that I have, but so far um, I've been using them and I do really, really like them. So application I think is good. It's not like so soft that you have a hard time, you know, getting the color on the brush or off of the brush. So, you know, sometimes with like squirrel hair on eye brush, uh, eye, eye brushes, I feel like the squirrel hair often is um, a little too soft for some of the, you know, harder products. And I didn't have any issues with these. And honestly, they just, they work really well. They blend well and so forth. So I am really, really enjoying these brushes. I like the whole set. Um, but honestly, my two favorites would be these two. This is the W21 and the W36. So these are my two favorites from the set. I think overall though, the set is a good investment for this, for this price. It was 125 for these six brushes. So I think, you know, it, it's a good deal. I'm glad I made the investment and I am intrigued and would like to try some more sable hair brushes. So um, that's it for the brushes. And let's go ahead and go through the Viseart glosses. So I think I have to go back and double check, but I think the glosses are $19 each, but they did sell a box of all four of them, or not a box, actually, they were individually packaged, but it was a set of four for $60 from Use Beauty Pro. So that's what I purchased. And there are four colors. And just to know, these do have like a prickly pear scent, which, you know, kind of smells, it's a very fruity smell, kind of fruit punch type smell. And I have actually been wearing these, you know, on and off for about a week or so. And I can tell you now that the smell lingers. So it's a very pleasant smell. I like the smell. I would love to have like a candle or something scented with this smell but it is something that as you're wearing the gloss throughout the day you'll occasionally get a whiff of it and you know it's it's still there so i personally would prefer them to be unscented because you know it's just it's not always something that you you want is to catch a whiff of your lip gloss but it is a nice scent texture wise i like the texture they are glosses that are you know kind of like a, a light to medium type texture so I, I'd say that they're kind of like a medium thickness. They're not as thick as like a Pat McGrath gloss. Um, but, and honestly, the, they have like a thinness to them. Like they're a medium thickness, but it kind of feels like when you rub your lips together, you know, kind of like, like there's a thin layer in there. And I'm not positive, but... I thought these were kind of like a lip oil type thing, which would make sense with that feeling for me. By the way, these are made in the United States. Okay, so um, overall though, I really like the lip glosses. They're comfortable, wear time is good. I'm actually wearing one right now. I've had it on for quite a while because I actually recorded this video earlier and then I ended up having to redo it due to some unforeseen circumstances with children. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and we're gonna swatch these. First, we'll swatch them on my hands and then I will give you guys some lip swatches. So the first shade is called Petal. 
And this is a very, very sheer light pink. So you can see that it is almost clear, but there is definitely still like a light pink quality to it. It's actually very, very pretty on the lips. One of the things I like about these glosses is they have like um like some luster shine to it that it kind of like, well, I'll show you when I uh, have it freshly applied. This has been on for hours. So you can see that, you know, that this is how it kind of wears. This is the darkest color, by the way, Cerise. But, um, you know, it just kind of makes your lips look a little bit plumper and the lines aren't really as noticeable. So this is a beautiful light pink shade. The next color is called Fleur, and this is more of a like mauvey tone shade, and there you go. So, and I do have to note that the hand swatches don't do these justice at all. When I first swatched these on my hand, I was kind of like a little wary because they just didn't really look like what I pictured, but on the lips, they actually are very beautiful. So this is kind of like a dusty rose type of color with a little bit of like a mauvey pink kind of mixed into that. The third color is called Beignet. And this is the one that I was most worried about, but it actually, you know, these things all sheer out so nicely that they work well in all the skin tones. When I'm done swatching these, I'll shear the bottoms of these out so you can see it. But this one is kind of like the color of caramel. And the last one is Cerise. And this is the one I'm wearing. So you can tell that it's definitely gonna sheer out more than this. All right, so this actually looks more like an eggplant in the tube. It, kind of more more like a, a deep purple berry like I think cerise is when, when I think cerise I, I believe means cherry so to me that invokes more of a picture of something like of a brighter red whereas this is definitely definitely more like blackberry all right so I'm gonna take a finger and share each of these out so you can kind of see what they look like so when you actually apply these on your lips, you know, if you if you goop it up like that, you're going to see, you know, product accumulate in spots. But if you sheer it out, you get these really beautiful colors that I think are really going to work for pretty much anybody. So here they are. So again, Cerise, Beignet, Fleur, and Petal. All right, and I'll be right back with the first lip swatch. Okay, so I am back. This is Petal. This is the lightest lip color. So to me, this actually is reminiscent of Smith's Rosebud Salve. So it's just like a light touch of like this baby pearl pink. And I really like this color, but you can see when I apply it, like when you kind of like plump your little, purse your lips or whatever, you can kind of see like this extra like glossy shine to it that I think is really nice. And this is like thin enough that, you know, you don't have that like overly lip gloss look. They're shiny that <laughs> you definitely have lip gloss on, but you know, like those thicker lip glosses, how you can just kind of see like this even layer of lip gloss and you know, it, it kind of looks kind of packed on. This is thin enough that it doesn't really do that. It's a slightly more natural application. And I really have been enjoying it so far. So I'll be right back with Fleur. Okay, so this is Fleur. And this is the one that's kind of like that mid mauve tone pink. And I think this is a great neutral rose color. So it's kind of, um, not quite as deep as rosewood, but kind of like that. So I, but I think it's like, it's fairly neutral. And I, I really like this color. It's a great everyday shade. So there you go. Okay, so I'm back with Beignet. 
And this is the color I was most worried about because, you know, like seeing this like caramel color, I thought it might be too opaque and just kind of look like death on me. <laughs> but honestly, it's a great um, kind of like nudish shade. And you can still see like a touch of caramel in my lips, but it's not like overpowering. I feel like, you know, these are, it, it's a light color. So, you know, it's, it's very wearable. And overall, I, I like it. I've been uh, reaching for it more than I anticipated. So be right back with the next one. All right, and here is a fresh application of Cerise. And I really, really like this color. So again, on my hand, I feel like it looks way more purple and a lot deeper. But on the lips, you really see more of that like berry shade shining through. And I think it's beautiful. This might be my favorite of the four colors. So um, yeah, so that's it for swatches. Now, let me just go through my thoughts with you. I kind of gave you guys most of my thoughts already, but just a few things I'd like to follow up with. I do feel like these four shades are more of a fall palette. And honestly, like I think if they had come out in the fall, that would have been great. Um, this Cerise color is a color I would have definitely preferred to, to wear a lot in the fall. And now that we're getting the warmer weather and so forth, I'm gravitating more towards brighter shades. So I really like glosses. I really like colors. They're definitely very wearable and I'll be wearing them. But again, I um, just feel like they, they really read fall to me. Um, the other thing just to know, I really like the texture. I really like the wear time. I love the scent. However, I wish they were unscented. Uh, I don't really like catching a whiff of it like a couple of hours later and kind of smelling that, especially if I'm doing something where, you know, I just don't necessarily want to have a fruity scent in front of me. Like I was eating uh, last week and I was wearing one of these and I forget what I was eating, like Thai food or something. And then all of a sudden I just smelled the lip gloss and it's just, you know, it's just not something you always want to have present while you're wearing it. So, um, yeah, that, that's my, my one thing about those. I do wish that it was unscented even though the scent is very pleasant. And I honestly prefer to all those vanilla scents that we usually get in the lip glosses, but I do feel like uh, those fade or I stop noticing them more easily. Whereas this one, I, I really do just all of a sudden catch a whiff. All right. And overall, I absolutely love these lip glosses and I do hope that they come out with more shades because I think it's a beautiful formula and I love these particular colors as well. Um, the brushes, again, I think they are a great deal in this set. I'm eager to try more stable hair brushes. And um, yeah, that's basically everything. So just a note, I don't believe any of these items are limited edition. The brushes are part of, you know, Esom's permanent collection. However, if you're trying to get them in the set with this discounted price, that set is only available till Valentine's Day but the actual brushes are not going anywhere. The lip glosses um, are permanent. So yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much and have a great day.